días todos. Ahora estamos en Cerro Castillo, en Viña del Mar. Hi. Esta es mi amigo Camilo, mi hermano. My brother, Martin. That hotel is where people like Elton John stay when they visit here. It's a really nice part of, um, of Viña del Mar. Esta es solo mi segunda vez um, en el mar en Chile. Y allá es eh, Valparaíso. Valparaíso es una ciudad muy famosa por um, centro cultural de Chile. Mucho de buco en las calles, obvio el mar, muy muy lindo. Y después de almorzar, vamos a ir. Este parque es muy famoso por un reloj de flores. Pero dos días atrás un árbol cayó, cayó sí. 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 Ahora el reloj no, es no más. So this is that hotel I was talking about before and it is freaking massive. So yeah, it's where famous people stay. I can see why. It's crazy big. Insane view of the sea. Aquí mira muy loco porque hay ciudad moderno, pero también hay dos castillos. You know, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm going to take a flying guess that this house here costs a lot of money. It's a castle overlooking the sea. Look at that, that's like, that's out of a fairy tale. That is straight out of a Disney movie. Like, can you think of a cooler place to live? A castle overlooking the sea. It's like the third combi I've seen today. Suddenly, think this is a hidden town. Parks and Vinya just had a coffee. You can see behind me there, that's the casino. And then in front of me there's the sea. So just a really nice relaxing spot, but we're gonna head back home, charge up the camera, have some lunch, and after that I think we're heading to Valparaiso. Yeah. We have this Chile, they have um, barbecues just like New Zealand with beer, friends, family, meat, outside, totally the same. So after lunch I had a siesta and the others watched the football, which yeah. Chile won, so go Chile. Sorry, I didn't watch it. I'm, I'm a Kiwi, I prefer rugby, it's just <laughs> the way I am. Yeah. But now we're finally heading to Valparaiso, which I've honestly been trying to get to Valparaiso since I got here. I have missed out on the chance to go like three times now, even missed a school trip because I was sick. So super excited to be finally going there, it looks awesome, really keen to check it out. Um, but it is like five o'clock now, so it's the kind of place you want to spend a day, but we'll be going back tomorrow. So yeah, it'll be good to see it tonight and we'll get to see it tomorrow as well. Puedes, ¿Puedes abrir mi ventana? Sí. So we're in Valparaiso right now, just looking down on the harbour. As well as being a sort of cultural hub for Chile, Valparaiso is one of the largest ports. So I don't know if you can hear me that well because it's pretty loud with all the trucks and boats, but the view is awesome. The sun's just setting and the whole city is pink. Check this out. Where we're staying. 
Hurry. So other than the port and the street art, the other thing that Valparaiso is known for is its crazy landscape. It is covered in hills. It might be something to do with the fact they have earthquakes all the time. But because they're covered in uh, hills, uh, the best way to get around and see the place is the ascensores, which translates to the elevators. These things are like a hundred years old, but they, they get the job done. They're kind of like cable cars. Which camera do we look at? <laughs> oh. So as I suspected was going to happen, we are running out of light, but we're heading to another hill now. Hopefully the view there is good, but because it's running out of light, the video is probably going to suck. Oh, también, por mis visitas en Chile, dime si tú quieres subtítulos de español por las partes de inglés. Porque obvio es más trabajo para mí, pero puedo ver en mis Instagramas de YouTube. Y la mejor edad de mis visitas son en Chile ahora. Dime en uh, las, los comentarios bajo. Ya, yeah, foto. Con cuidado. So this is what I was looking forward to seeing in Valparaiso. Narrow streets and little staircases just covered in street art. Can't wait to see this tomorrow on the light, but even now it looks fantastic. It's just so unique. Um, like, you know, in most, in most cities in the world, graffiti is really frowned upon and they just clean it off. But here it's become the identity of the city and it's fantastic. And Valparaiso really feels like a slice of old chili. Oh, finally I feel like I'm not the only idiot with the camera. This place is like covered in people with cameras. Valparaiso consists of the 48 hills around the other, the other beach. Had a big day, we've seen two cities in one day. Oh. So, I think it's time to end the vlog for today, but I'm not going to end it this time. My boy Camilo is going to end it, so... Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and ciao from Valparaiso. Eh, ciao!